Hello Reception, Mrs Lax here. In today's story time, I'm going to read you the story called What the Ladybird Heard Next. And it's been written by a Julia Donaldson. But first, I'm going to read you the blurb on the back of the book, which tells us what the story is about. So, two greedy robbers get a smelly surprise on the farmyard. Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len decide to steal the fat red hen. They have a cunning plan. But the clever little ladybird has an even better one. Shall we find out what her plan is? Right, let's begin. Once upon a farmyard lived a ladybird and these are the things that she saw and she heard. The cow in her shed, the horse in his stall, the cats who purred on the garden wall, the barn full of straw, the field full of sheep, the kennel where the dog lay, fast asleep, the fish in the pond, the drake and the duck, the hive of bees and the heap of muck. Pool. The hog in his sty, the goose in her pen, and the coop, which was home to the fat red hen. See if you can find the fat red hen in her coop. I wonder where she is. Mm. Now, the fat red hen, with her thin brown legs, laid lots and lots of speckled eggs. But then, oh how, oh no, oh dear, those eggs began to disappear. Each morning all the eggs are gone and the animals asked, oh, what's going on? I'll find out, said the ladybird. So she flew and she flew and she saw and she heard. And here she is, love the ladybird, going off to find out where her eggs are all going. She saw two men in a big black van with a torch and a sack and a cunning plan. They were Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len who had been to jail but were out again. Said Lanky Len to Hefty Hugh, let's steal another egg or two. But Hefty Hugh said, listen Len, I vote we steal the fat red hen. We'll make our way to the chicken coop and scoop her up in one fell swoop. Just think of all those eggs she'll lay us and all the money that folk will pay us. And then replied, oh, We'll soon be rich. It makes my fingers start to itch. Which one's Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh? Do you know? Spotted Ladybird told the animals what she'd heard. <gasps> Hefty Hugh and Lucky Len are planning to steal the fat red hen. What animals can you see in our picture? You can see the duck. You can see the cow. What other animals? Perhaps you can count them. <coughs> Then the cow said, moo, mmm, and the hen said, cluck, hiss, said the goose, quack, said the duck, nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog, bah, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And the two cats meowed, those bad, bad men, we can't let them steal the fat red hen. But the ladybird said, oh, listen, quick, I've got a really clever trick. <laughs> At dead of night, the two bad men opened the coop and snatched the hen. But the fat red hen began to cluck, oh, why don't you steal the downy duck? Her eggs are bigger, farther than mine, and people say they taste divine. Good thinking that, said, Le said Len Lanky Len. 
they tiptoed to the pond, but then the downy duck began to quack. Oh, please don't put me in your sack. Why don't you steal the goose instead? She's bigger still and better fed. Her uh, eggs are huge and tasty too. Good thinking that, said Hefty Hugh. She doesn't want to be stolen and put in a sack. But then they tried to seize the goose. She hissed at them, I'm not much use. Why don't you steal that great big bird? The super duper snuggly snurd. What? said Len. Who? said Hugh. The goose replied, I thought you knew. She lays the biggest eggs of all. Each one looks like a rugby ball. And here's the snuggly snurd. The duck joined in. She's friendly too. I'm sure she'd love to live with you. She'll put an end to all your cares. You'll very soon be millionaires. Where's this snurd? asked Lanky Len. Not far away, chipped in the hen. She lives inside that big brown heap. You'll find her there. She's fast asleep. And here's the big brown muck of the heap that they've got to dig. The two thieves laughed. We've got it made. Let's take turns with the farmer's spade. They dug and they dug. And Len said, Poo! It stinks! And Hugh said, So do you. And Len said, Where's that giant bird, the super duper snuggly snurd? She's rather shy, the goose replied. She must be hiding deep inside. So we've got to keep digging to find that snuggly snurd. So they dug a tunnel, nice and deep. That's it, said Hugh. Now it went we creep. I think we're nearly there, said Len. The snurd will soon be as. <gasps> but then, oh no, what's going to happen? What do we think will happen next? The heat collapsed and Hugh said, Yuck! We're covered head to toe in muck. And then complained, There is no snurd. They just made up that giant bird. Oh no. I think they need to go and have a bath now. <laughs> the other animals gathered round and let out a deafening name. Oh, I bow, woof, woof, meow. What a racket, what a row. Oh dear, how do they look now, Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh? How are they feeling? Don't look best pleased, do they? The farmer woke and said, goodness me. And he had a word with the prize queen bee. And the bees chased after the two bad men who never came back to the farm again. Here are the bees chasing all of Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh away from the farm. Then the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. Quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba said the sheep and woof said the dog and the farmer cheered and both cats purred but the ladybird said never a word and neither did the snuggly snurd and that's the end of our story today i hope you enjoyed that story see you again soon bye